North Korean leader Kim Jong-un put emphasis on bilateral cooperation during his first summit with President Vladimir Putin in Russia's Far East city of Vladivostok on Thursday. The so-called strong men exchanged their first handshakes with bright smiles right before the summit. Kim said the summit with Putin will be meaningful for joint effort to address Korean Peninsula issues. <laughs> Putin expressed his support for ongoing efforts for inter-Korean dialogue and for improved relations between the North and the U.S. We believe that your visit today to Russia will help us in the development of two-sided relationships and help us better understand how we can regulate the Korean situation on the Korean Peninsula, what we can do together, what Russia can do to support the positive processes that are now happening today. At an extended summit, Kim said, this summit with Putin aims to develop bilateral ties in sound, forward-looking ways. And Putin said he and Kim exchanged views on the situation of the Korean Peninsula in positive directions. Flanked by top party, military and state officials, Kim arrived by train in Vladivostok on Wednesday afternoon for his first foreign trip since his second summit with U.S. President Donald Trump in Hanoi in February, which failed to make a deal. Since the No Deal summit, Kim has been trying to close ranks with his major power supporters, China and Russia, while calling for flexibility in Washington's tough line stance in stalled nuclear negotiations. Moscow and Pyongyang favor a phased incremental approach to the North's nuclear disarmament, while Washington calls for the North to take sweeping denuclearization steps before any rewards are given. This Vladivostok summit is the first one between the leaders of the two countries in eight years after Kim's late father and former leader Kim Jong-il met then-Russian President Dmitry Medvedev in 2011. Following the summit, Kim Jong-un is expected to return home Friday or Saturday.